folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of RimWorld. We're in Alpha 13 in our town of Cougar's Hope, and just kind of noticing Michael down there all by himself, doing some mining. He's a night owl, and he's out there listening to the crickets and tapping away. But before I turn this on, I noticed that we do have, where are you, one bear to worry about this time. Yeah, he's going to be eating soon. Right about the time Michael's walking back home the next morning, too. Hmm. Let's check something real quick. No, you're not going to need food anytime soon. <laughs> Might get a little interesting. What are you packing? Hey, a survival rifle. And a slow run speed. Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, otherwise, before I run it, I wanted to let you see this. Uh, before I started the episode, I went ahead and put a new, no roof, there we go, expand no roof area, at least that's what it's called in Alpha 13, over the entire base. So basically, it took out the ceiling of all of the walls, all of the rooms that uh, were inside of a mountain at one time, and then ran the game for a second, and then took away all of that so clear the no roof area and it's now installing constructed roofs you see down here in the corner in all these rooms which I'm told I have not actually tested it myself but I'm I'm going on what I've been told that it acts as a bug barrier in a sense we've now got constructed walls constructed roof and most of these rooms constructed floors what I don't know is if we need to build a constructed floor or if smoothing counts as a constructed floor. I'm going to guess that smoothing counts. We obviously have dirt over here so this is going to have to be put in with with something else. Um, flooring wise the at least in alpha, again alpha 13 the constructed granite or stone tile floors have got the most beauty of the constructed floors versus I think I think wood floor is neutral Concrete is a negative. These guys are a positive two, and I think smooth floors is a positive three. So if you can smooth floors, it's better. Seems like most of these other rooms over here were like this. They were kind of half and half. So, I mean, I like this. I could smooth all of it and then just build wooden floors right here, which I'm going to have to do, or some kind of other floor. But what I was doing, everywhere that it was half and half, I was just putting in a a wooden floor just to make it consistent when we finally get ahead of our stone cutting and the stuff is just piling up like I never did set that let's do something here real quick details I never did say drop on floor that would have been uh, wise from the very beginning we would have gotten so much more done so much faster instead of taking it to the best stockpile just drop it on the floor a hauler will come grab it a whole bunch at a time instead of just one little stack and save all of these Dwayne trips. Anyway, I think I can turn the game on right now. This is all going to disappear in a second. I just wanted you to see that before it went away. Spring has begun. Woohoo! All right, that ends that cold, dark, dreary chapter of our history. I set this guy to tear down. I don't believe that there is a roof sitting over the top of that, but it might be a good idea just to verify that. Is that zone? Uh, no roof area. Let's just kind of do that. Every once in a while, there is a constructed roof over the top of a constructed wall of, you know, some kind of a, of a structure that you go to take down. I'm hearing gunshots. I did find five more rabbits to queue up. So, uh, Michael went from mining straight over to hunting. He says, I'm getting in on this. And Manuel is... I asked him to come get these... Uh, this is the last cargo drop that uh, came in that we didn't get to see last time. So I queued these two guys up to come and, and clear these out. They should get most of them. If we don't get all of them, then we will probably just leave the rest for the animals. But um, that's shooting over there. Starvation. Cathra has got gut worm. 
It eats the food out of her twice as fast as she can use it. And something I had forgotten about. I've, I've noticed this before, but I never connected the dots. Catherine, a couple times now, I have noticed that she was just sitting here shooting, 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 and not hitting anything. Just dawned on me. That's why. We need to get her a bionic eye. Um, because of that, because she's got a shooting skill, well, of eight, but she's got passion for it. But her accuracy in general, I think it'll give me that here. Yeah, shooting accuracy is 79%. Versus whoever I clicked on, I think, last episode, and he had a, a 97% rabbit or someone so we, get, we need to get her a bionic eye she'll probably have close to 120 percent accuracy at that point in other words she'll hit it she she can't not hit it is kind of what it comes down to what else in front of her before each episode i spend a little bit of time now going through this starting to tweak pathways for this set of conduits to run the new, uh, um, lost it, turret. The new turrets are going to go in in the sapper defense system. So little by little, I'll let them do some work. We're going to put a switch in here. We're going to make this one a dedicated loop, which means eventually i got to get all of these other doors swapped out to another loop of power that's not going to be switched and running the perimeter. Running all the way up into here. And I need to connect it through, build a new walls through here and get it into this one to connect these two and at that time um i'll throw a switch over here too somewhere and little by little we'll get that system going it may be a while hopefully you know we've only had two sapper attacks in 70 episodes so i'm hoping we're going to have a 10 15 episode window I'm not worry about it so Dwayne is shooting long distance at that guy and well is taking out this guy who's hiding behind a tree so he's going to have lots of cover so it's going to take a while still hearing gunshots and we had a bear to check on let's do that real quick that's you you should be well into needing to eat now and you're going to wake up soon it's five in the morning speaking of waking up soon i was told to take a peek at a night owl just to see Radar. I'm going to pause it because I want to see that bear. If it tells me anything about the hours, it does not. Radar likes to work at night. He gets a mood bonus if awake at night and mood loss if awake during the day. So I'm pretty sure it's the next alpha where they start to distinguish just what that means. Um, I don't know where else I could click. Let's see if it tells us anything here. I mean, there is a lot of information here that we never really get a chance to look at. How good they are at trading. Uh, his, because of his social skill of 6, trade price improvement of 3%. Um, because of his animal taming of 4, he's got a 6% chance to tame animals. So there's all kinds of information in here that uh, never really gets utilized fully by most uh, YouTube Let's Players. Because we're too busy trying to create interesting content to spend 20 minutes staring at all these numbers and all of the characters. But let's just kind of glance through radar real quick. Race, human, move speed, mental break threshold, psychic sensitivity, maximum comfortable temperature, minimum comfortable temperature. So Vapa, you were asking a while back, what is a good indoor temperature? There isn't one. It's different for every colonist. So it's, it's really hard to answer that question. Um, immunity gain speed. Oh, that's interesting. That's why everybody but Klaus got over that, that sensory mechanitis so quick. I bet you they have higher immunity gain speeds. Yeah, their carry capacity based upon different injuries and whatnot in their health, uh, what they eat. I don't know if Alpha 16 has any modifiers to this. Are there vegetarians or vegans, that sort of thing? It's very possible. <laughs> How much leather you can get out of radar. <laughs> There's even a meat amount. Yep, there is cannibalism in this game. Life expectancy, market value, that's if they were sold as a slave and based on the current skills. Um, melee damage per second. 
shooting accuracy, aiming time, and diplomatic gift impact. Diplomatic gift impact. Not 100% sure what that means because we don't have um, visitors that give you a gift when they leave. So I'm not sure how that affects Alpha 13. Uh, recruit prisoner chance and a social chat impact on and on. So there's lots. Oh, I've only just touched it. It scrolls. Yeah, all the speed to do all the different kinds of jobs based upon their skill level. So all of these come into, uh, into play if you were to really min-max this game. There's so much more information to use than, than uh, most people realize. Anyway, after that, I don't even know why I did that. But let's go find that bear. Where are you now? You're over here. All right. I'm thinking 6 a.m. is where this uh, this triggers when he starts looking for food. Right about the time Natalia is walking through. She kind of is the closest meat right now, isn't she? Hmm. Okay, you're at your closest point now. Getting longer longer 6 a.m didn't trigger yet okay needs we're maxed out 100 percent maybe it's 7 a.m there we go he found him a boom rat oh man ah oh, they do that he's gonna he's gonna pay the price on that one yeah we don't need to see another bear burn so let's just move on Okay, they never learn. You are wandering. Okay, so who's shooting now? Then we'll get back into uh, playing the game. I hear shots. Here. Natalia is shooting this guy who's going to be getting out of her range. Oh, he's out of her range. She's going to grab a meal. Nah, she's going to... What is that one? Eating a lavish meal. Ooh. Ate a lavish meal plus 10. That's what I was saying earlier. I need to get more green up on the top of radar's list. What can we do? Lavish is one of them. So there's a plus 10. Almost enough to wipe out like a psychic uh, drone uh, negative. So it's, it's, that is pretty important to be able to do. Now... You've got to have the manpower to pull that off. You've got to have the skill level to pull that off. So that's pretty much the end of the hunting. Which means Natalia is probably going to spend the rest of her time cooking. We need to get somebody on cleaning. This is atrocious over here. But while I'm thinking of it, let's get Bills going over here. I want you to also butcher creature forever. And... No human corpses. So, you ha again, you have to choose to butcher humans. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else important here. There's no choice of rot or not. And then, let's also add Bill to make kibble. And it seems like we're going for 250. Do until you have. 260. Something like that. And rotten is fine. Okay. So with that, we should have Brand and Radar and Rabbit and Natalia all tackling the kitchen and getting all of these butchered and getting lavish meals made of all of this. Most of the planting is back in. All the sowing is, is, is in. We're, we're in spring now. So little by little, we're going to get all of these uh, fields planted and ready to go. Eric is continuing the job down here. That's right, something else came up. I don't know why that reminded me of it. Uh, I know, because I was thinking there's jobs I need Eric to be doing instead. I did queue up some sandbags and, and posts as defense areas for us to stand behind in case we get more attacks coming from down here. Though, of course, they can use these against us, too, so there is that danger. But Eric and Rokes are the best builders in the colony. And we have an issue. In fact, it might happen right here. I have requests of one more male and one more female colonists. We're out of bedrooms. 
where are we going to put at least two more bedrooms in this colony? How can we do that? And where? I mean, I guess if we're going this way, now would be the time to do it before we get this wall built. That makes sense. But how best? That's a nice double door system. It would be nice not to have to undo that. Um, you are granted to be mine. Let's, because I want to get the conduit to pass through, which is another problem. It is so hard to do this. I'm going to have to come out, go down, and go back up to be able to power the, the circuitry for the turrets without unpowering these two doors. They're going to need to grab inside power. So that puts our conduits exposed to explosions and breaking the system. It's kind of tough dealing with, with wiring. But where are we going to squeeze in two more bedrooms? And I'm kind of thinking it's over here. In fact, that would give me the opportunity to expand these walls and make slightly bigger rooms over here, too. Get rid of our bigger room by taking the wood out. That is an idea. Gets into our park, though. Though we could just come down over here. Yeah. Let's further expand into here. And then build the escape ship out over here. And that's kind of the end of the of the new colonists, I'm thinking. Because already we're not going to have enough plasteel on, on this map. We have a little bit left here to build all of the cryosleep caskets, I think they were called. I won't get into that until we get into research. Uh, ship. There. Ship cryo crypto sleep caskets. This is part of the uh, the ship to escape. You know, put them into into cryo sleep for the uh, long journey through space. So that's, if I recall, that's all plasteel or most of it. So we're gonna need lots and lots of plasteel, which means we need to be also making artwork and other things that we can be selling to be able to um, uh, to afford to buy plasteel from traders. And we also need to get into this guy, which I'm told has a fairly good chance of having some gold in here. So if there are, oh, who knows what's in there? There's lots of possibilities. Colonist needs treatment. Nettie and Manuel. Man, uh, Manuel. Nettie, I understand. What's with Manuel? Okay, work. Did someone shoot somebody? <laughs> what? When did the plague get introduced? I don't remember. Wait a minute, has that always been there? Somebody had the plague in here. But that seems like so long ago. Oh, it's right there. I didn't see these guys drop. Okay. Manuel has gotten sick from the plague. Yeah. And... Nettie as well. And if you don't know, you can just right-click on these guys. You don't have to pop up the box to read it. But, okay. So that's RimWorld's way of saying, you got way too much medicine sitting here. We need to make this tougher on you. <laughs> so they're all going to have to get treated. Though, it seems like the plague may be one of those things that if you give them bed rest, they will treat faster. I don't know. Anyway, let's let this thing run. And let's do think about expanding into this. It's probably the best timing to do it. You are granite. We don't have slate. We have granite. We have marble. And we have sandstone. That's all we have on the map. Slate is your second best. With uh, granite, the best. We may have to keep chipping away at this just to get more granite blocks. There are quite a few here yet to haul. So we'll just set all those. In fact, we'll head down here and do some more. Oh, there's all... Yeah? Is that all granite? That's all granite. Wow. Failed to recruit, Hippo. Okay. 
Natalia, why are you working with wardening? Because your cooking was taken down so you could hunt. That's what it was. We're kind of done with the hunting. Let's... We've done all the training we're going to do at the moment. So, Michael, mining is your number one. Art is your number two. I want to get you back into here soon. But we really need to see if we can find gold. Let's run through this real quick. Hunt. All right, there. That's good. Uh, I need Nettie to get back into tailoring. So let's do that and take that down. All right. Klaus, your hunt is a two. Your mining is a one. And, but now growing is fine. We have lots of food. Let's see, Eric. We're not researching anymore until we get gold. So you're good here. Vapa, your hunting is down. We'll keep it all even on you. Yeah, that'll be fine. As long as we have somebody who's permanently hauling. Dwayne, do that. So you drop into crafting is your priority. And, yep, that's good. Kathra, and you're cleaning. Well, there's nothing to clean. Party. <laughs> okay. Nothing to clean. You'll drop into hauling versus Cassie, who's going to haul, and then she'll drop into cleaning. Although she does... Yeah, we'll leave that there. She does have repair up there, like most many of them do. And growing, she's good at. Okay. Uh, I skipped somebody. Right here. Natalia is set for cooking first, then wardening and hunting, and then art. And eventually we're going to get her into more serious art once we get uh, things caught up around here. All right, a couple left. Nettie we've dealt with. Tailoring. Yep, yeah, and tailoring is going to be done before long. That's right over here. Cassie is cleaning? What is Cassie doing? Relaxing socially. It's like she's spinning in the chair. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Dwayne? Attempted to woo Natalia into a romance. Natalia said, uh-uh. <laughs> I had one person left, right? Two. Manuel? Off of hunt. He drops into... Grow. Hall. Research. Okay. And Radar off of Hunt. And he is cooking first. And then if there's any construction going on next. And then hauling afterward. So Cassie is the permanent hauler. She's got a great run speed. And Cathra is a permanent cleaner in a sense. That will vary soon. But that's what's going on at the moment. And right here we've got a, a Nettie and Dwayne conversation going on. Had a deep talk with Nettie. So they sit and face each other and talk once in a while. That's interesting. Probably happening right here too. Oh, the party's going on. That's right. Who threw that party? Rokes is throwing a party. Everyone who goes to it will gain joy and social energy and lasting positive mood boost. And boy, we need that around here right now. All right, so while they're doing all of that and there's no raid going on, and there are no holes in the walls and nothing to worry about. Outdoor temperature, 51. So we're not going to worry just yet about venting this system to the outside. Not till we get into the 70s outside at night. Otherwise, we are 70 indoors. Everywhere, 69. Even out over here, 67. This heater slowly works its way through the vent. Okay, so things are safe. Let's get a block of granite into there. Did that so I can run conduit through. Got to do it over here too so I can run conduit through. Um, otherwise, let's think about laying out some rooms. So let's cancel at least everything in there. Hmm. How best? 
I mean, it'd be nice to compact it down. Poor Mood. Michael. Did he not get to go to the party? Michael. Health needs. Attended party. So his Mood's already got a, a good booster. He needs... Oh, they, if they're starving during a party, they don't go and eat. There's no cake served at these parties. So everybody is going to go grab something to eat. Looks like we're missing a chair. Uh... Furniture, wooden, chair, there. Okay. Boy, this is dirty. And that still is. Alright, I need a volunteer to help clean. Clean. Radar, nope. Nettie, you're making uh, clothes so that nobody is wearing worn out apparel anymore. Cassie, Cathra, Dwayne... Vapa temporarily you can help clean. Klaus, Rokes, Brand, Michael, Rabbit. Yeah, okay. That hopefully takes care of that. Anyway, what I'm thinking of is changing the layout of the bedrooms. Work this hallway downhill a little bit so that we can continue this stair step down and come down underneath. I think so. So let's lay this out. Granite walls. Mm. Don't have to anymore. We're not inside of a mountain. So granite walls for the perimeter. Whatever that turns out to be. Uh, we'll continue to stair step down. Well, I think we can probably do it right there just fine. So that's what we have to work with now. And this will need to be a double wall for security. Something like that. Okay. So wooden walls inside now. What do I want? Right there. And we're going to give them an extra space. So there's actually... Another wall in there. One, two, three, four, five. Double wall. One, two, three, four, five. Double wall. Let's build for the future. One, two, let's go up to granite. One, two, three, four, five. Double wall, double wall. Okay. There's our perimeter. No. Wooden walls. What else goes down here? Got any ideas? Let me know. Because this, uh, this isn't going to be permanent for quite some time. It's going to take them a while to build this. Alright, one, two... Well, let's do it this way. We'll use our measuring... our, our yardstick. We've got 17. Minus 2 for a hallway. We've got 15. Minus 2 for walls. That's 13. That's a 7 and a 6. Hmm. That's an odd space. Okay, so let's take this up one block. Up one or down one? Probably up one. So granite actually goes here. And cancel goes there, there, and there. So, cancel one, two. That looks symmetrical. I think it is. So, interior walls. I did make these all out of wood, right? I'm not spacing that out. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, something like that. Wood. There we go. Like so. What to do with the void? Oh, it is down one, because I need the security wall to go around it for sappers. I actually got to compress this a little bit more. Okay, well, I'll tweak that one after the episode is over. I'll spend a little time between now and the next episode, and I'll need to figure out how to work the hallway into this area too, and stair-step it down. So that's the idea. 
the last of our bedrooms. And if we have a couple more requests to join the series before it ends, we'll, we have a, a little bit more room to expand for them. But otherwise, that's going to be it for this series. The goal now is to get off the planet. I would like to explore the new versions of uh, RimWorld soon. So we do want to end this, but I want to end it correctly. So we're going to continue on until whatever that ending turns out to be. There was another bear thinking about getting feisty. It's probably long since happened. So I'm thinking it's time to... Ah, oh, there he is right there. Time to call this one done. And... Needs treatment. Dwayne, gutworm, most likely. Yep. So let's call this one finished. And I will catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.